want to go on an expedition around the world, dropping in to see a variety of dinosaurs living on each of the seven continents? Um, I know one <laughs> five-year-old who would definitely say yes, and I am sure there is plenty of you that would be all into. Well, the new summer exhibit from Mosey is making that happen, and Janet White, Director of Education from the Museum of Science and Industry, is here. Didn't come alone. She's bringing the toys, <laughs> but oh, there's so much more. These are educational side of things today. How are you, first I'm off? well. Thanks for having me. I am glad you're here today. Let's talk about this new exhibit. What better way to spend the summer with kids and talking about dinosaurs? Because again, I have not met a kid that is not obsessed with dinosaurs. I have not met an adult that is not obsessed <laughs> with dinosaurs. Everybody loves a dinosaur. You're so right. You are so right. Why is that? Because I think that you have to use a little bit of your imagination because you, we haven't actually seen them. Yeah. And you have to use the science and think back to what happened millions of years ago. So you can use a little bit of your own creative mind. I remember like pre my daughter, I was kind of like, you know, oh, that's kind of like the boy thing or something. And I was putting gender stereotypes mm. on it. And I was so wrong <laughs> in doing that because I know my daughter is such a fan. But to be able to learn and bring in the seven different continents, that's something that I know I've never had a mm. conversation about. Why was it important to Mosey? I think it's important so that we can see that the dinosaurs didn't just happen in one area, that it did come up from all the seven continents. And so we can tie in that geography where each of the dinosaurs came in as well. Okay, give us an idea. Okay. Who, who are your uh, your friends? And by the way, are we playing in sand today, Janet? We're not playing in sand. We're going to be paleontologists today Ooh, and go better. on a little bit of a fossil dig. So I did bring some of my dinosaur friends. You know, we've got our favorite T-Rex here and one that probably knows Ankylosaurus. So they, these are just small models of what's actually going to be at Mosey. We're okay. going to actually have the animated big dinosaurs at Mosey from May 14th all the way to Labor Day. Oh, nice. So they'll move a little bit and you'll get to experience it. Yeah, those but. are not good in the studio, hence why we have smaller <laughs> versions here, right? Yes, I couldn't fit in my car, and <laughs> I wouldn't happen. come on a leash. That'll happen. <laughs> okay, so let's talk. Is this something, this experience of being a paleontologist, that you can experience at Mosey? Of course, because at Mosey, we can't just have animated dinosaurs. We have to bring on the hands-on element as well to keep that. that learning going. So this is our fossil pit. Okay. And if you dig around, you might find a fossil. And once you kind of dig it up, there's a little brush that you can use to brush oh, wow. it off. So you're really giving kids and adults the experience to see what it is mm -hmm. like to be able to dig. Yes, and how they need to be gentle because you can't just go dig hard or you might break the fossil because oh. these bones might be millions of years old. So and true. then you take those fossil pieces and um, they can go to scientists and that's how the scientists figured out what the dinosaurs actually looked like. Okay, you know, and of course, just science that we wanted to touch on and being able to talk about the uh, science of dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Summer camps, like this is the season. I didn't know that this was a sport, finding out what summer <laughs> camp your child was going to go to. It, it is. is incredibly <laughs> insane. And then I heard how many camps Mosey's <laughs> offering, and it was like, okay, well, this is where you need to make your phone call to. <laughs> this is our favorite time of year. From all 10 weeks of summer, we have over 90 summer camps for completed <gasps> kindergarten through eighth grade students so they can come. Everything is hands-on. They have no idea that they are actually learning, but their brains are still engaged. So hands-on, minds-on, all summer long. So are there still spots available? We do still have some spots available. Okay. Some are full, but we definitely have some spots left. And give people an idea, too, of the uh, different types, because you just said a yeah. pretty astronomical <laughs> number for camps with different themes, mind of you. Of course, we have dinosaurs, we have Minecraft, we have movie making, we have Star Wars, we have Harry Potter, we have chemistry, we have Mosey MD. So we try to have a little bit of everything so that everybody is going to enjoy their summer and learn. Half day camps, full day camps, what's the kind of nitty gritty there? They are full day from nine to four. Extended care is available if parents need to drop off in the morning or have them stay a little bit later. Okay, maybe the toughest question. What are your favorite summer camps that you offer oh. that people need to really take note of? <laughs> Janet, what do you like? It? This is a hard one. My favorite one is probably Harry Potter because okay. you get to do the potions and the wand making oh, and all those experiences. But then I also love all our robotics camps because those are always definitely neat because every child makes a different robot and they can do cool stuff. Very cool. This has been cool stuff. I mean, not every day you get to be a paleontologist, right? <laughs> if you want to explore dinosaurs around the world for yourself, it is now through Labor Day. Again, admission is included. We can't say that enough with yes. your Mosey ticket.
Connecticut. There's the website so you can learn more as well. Janet, great to see you. Thanks for having me.